Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to more of the logical journey of the Zumbinis with Colorful Artie, your host. So, we're back at Zumbini Isle. What we were going to do is make a new group of 16 Zumbinis and take on the big, the bad, and the hungry for the last time on the very, very hard difficulty rank. Ooh, I'm excited. Now I'm going to make a couple Zumbinis from scratch, I think. Just a few. That could be an alternate version of me, I suppose. Um, who else could I make? That's enough of the custom ones. Let's make the rest and take off. is going to be hard. Alright, so the big, the bad, and the hungry on the very, very hard difficulty. I'll be honest, Pizza Pass and the Stone Cold Caves, not too bad. The Allergic Cliffs, on the other hand, is actually really difficult now. Allergic Cliffs, level 4. The Allergic Cliffs play by certain rules. What one cliff accepts, the other is allergic to. Look for the three different features, such as red noses, sunglasses, and sprain feet, that do not cause an allergic reaction. Yeah, three different features that cause an allergic reaction, and it's only on one of these. One of them is going to reject free features, the other is only going to accept those free features. Because that's, because that's very broad, it's generally really hard to figure out which one is actually causing the allergies. So I'm going to start with two Zumbinis, her and her, that have three features in common. You can go across. Alright. He doesn't want her crossing, so she's going up here. And she can go up here. Figured. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's try another blue... N well... Do we have another blue-nosed guy with a bowl cut? And that's all our green-nosed people? Great. Oh, we have twins! I didn't even realize that. Well, if one twin gets rejected, the other one's definitely going across. <laughs> and then one of those twins I handmade. That's very interesting. All right. Well, maybe she's allergic to spiky hair. No. Okay. He either did not like the purple nose or the normal eyes. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what it was about that guy that she didn't like. It's not the purple nose, maybe it's the normal eyes? I would not be surprised if I have to redo the larger cliffs, because it's very hard to figure out. So looking at the guys we've gotten across... Normal eyes, it seems, he doesn't like. So I'm going on the assumption that he's allergic to normal eyes. He might also be allergic to spring feet. That seems to make a lot of sense. Maybe he's allergic to green hat hair as well? Because the last feature he's allergic to, it's either a nose or it's hair. Uh-oh. So what does she have that's so special? It's not the nose. It's not the sleepy eyes, it's not the green hat hair, and it's not the feet. So it must be this guy's allergic to things. 
Uh, this is not good. So he's allergic to normal eyes, and I'm guessing he was allergic to spring feet. Oh, this is hard. Nope! And that's what happens if all the pegs get destroyed. Hoping their comrades would make their way back to safety, the intrepid band continues bravely onward. Um, no. No, they don't. So yeah, if you hit the map icon when you're in the middle of a logical puzzle, it'll say the current party of the Zumbinis will be lost if you go to the map. So you can keep them, and it'll just go back to here, or if you lose them, it'll take you back to the main menu. We're doing that again. And when you go back to Zumbini, I don't guess what? All these guys are back. Now, I actually don't want a twin. Sorry, I don't want two twins going alone. That adds a little bit of random chance into it. Bopped around like beans in a basket, the Zumbinis were glad to finally reach land. Oh, strange and treacherous land, oh it is. Well, that's ominous. Alright, let's give the allergic cliffs another try, shall we? Generally, you want to start with Zumbinis that have very similar features, so you can just kind of narrow it down. So maybe it's Sprains again. Nope! So it seems Sprains and Blue Noses don't really matter in the puzzle. Maybe he's allergic to glasses. Okay, that seemed to work. Or perhaps she was allergic to sleepy eyes. Nope. I'm going on a whim and saying he's the guy who's allergic, and he was allergic to glasses, and now there's something about her that she, he's allergic to. Could be green hat hair, or it could be a bow tie. Let's try a bow tie. Nope. So pr he's probably allergic to green hat hair. So here's the theme. Thus far we've only found two things he's allergic to. Glasses and green hat hair. There's one other thing he's allergic to. Which is a bit disconcerting. Hmm. One of them was hair, the other was eyes. It's not blue nose, and it's not green nose, so... Okay. I'm trying to guess what he might be allergic to. If I had to guess... Oh, man. Oh, this is tricky, because here's the fan. It has to be three features of different types. Thus far, we've had green hat hair, which is a type of hair, and then glasses, which is a type of eyes. So he's either allergic to something that's a specific nose or something that's a specific feet. It's not springs, and it's not feet, so it has to be a nose. So essentially, we got a 50-50 shot. Okay, he liked that, and I'm guessing he's allergic to purple noses, so... Yes! Well done! There's quite a bit of guesswork that goes into doing that, and I also noticed that the group was evenly bisected. Seven on... wait. Eight on each side. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence, or if it always happens to bisect. And that could be it. If it bisects every time, which I will find out, before doing the individual solution videos. If that's the case, that would actually help out a lot, because it would help you narrow down which features they would be allergic to. Alright. Well, now that that's done, I'm supremely confident I can clear the other two in one go. Oh man, that red path. Things are getting really serious now.
the blue. Well, the nice thing about this one is you still get like 20 chances to miss. Stone Cold Caves, level 4. The Cave Guardians have a reaction to certain Zumbinis, just like the Allergic Cliffs. What one Guardian likes, the others do not. For example, if the left Guardian accepts Spring Feet, the right Guardian will reject this feature. The same goes for the upper and lower Guardians. For each pair of Guardians, look for three features that a Guardian accepts or rejects. Try figuring out what the right or left Guardians like first, and then try the upper or lower Guardians. So this one's basically the Allergic Cliffs on steroids from last <laughs> time, every Guardian has freed fiends that they like or dislike. But again, you get 20 chances to miss. Maybe more than that, as opposed to the 6 on the Allergic Cliffs. And also, every cavern will hold exactly 4 Zumbinis, so that will affect which ones they accept or reject. Hello! Every time! Every time I try a Zumbini that way, he always rejects the first Zumbini I put down. Kinda slow. I must be careful about who I let in. Sure. Also, a little trick you can do, if you place a Zumbini here, Pretty. and she talked, I'm guessing she's going to get rejected. Yep. Nice try. Okay, so she either doesn't like blue noses, or he doesn't yep. like green noses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so she talked, so I'm guessing, generally when they speak, and you've got a Zumbini queued up, that means the Zumbini is going to get kicked out. So let's try putting him up this way. Okay, by me. Never mind, he would have gone this up way. without a hitch. Uh-uh. Okay, okay. Balloon noses on this side, maybe? <laughs> Hello. Yep. All right, and then final blue nose here. Go on. No. no, 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 no. Many try, few succeed. All right, so the way I'm looking at this is she probably rejects blue noses, so he accepts blue noses. However, that doesn't mean he just. Hmm. So here's the thing: two more zumbinis have to go on this side. We have two Zumbinis here with orange noses and two Zumbinis here with purple noses. That's very interesting. I'm going to try orange nose. That was a mistake. Okay. So right now I'm, I'm getting she's accepting springs, or rather he's rejecting springs. She's rejecting blue noses, and she's probably also rejecting purple noses. Go on. Yep, yep. Proceed. Oh, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> bye bye. Well, that was rude. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Because here's the fin. Unlike the Virgin Cliffs, the fins that they reject could be of this from the same type. So it could be like she's like, I don't like orange noses or blue noses or red noses. Whereas the Allergic Cliffs would have to pick from three different categories. Okay, I want to know which Zumini's going there. And this guy's the odd one out with uh, Orange Nose, so... Oh! Sorry, pal! Okay, alright then, fine. He doesn't seem to like green hat hair, then. Okay... I'm guessing she rejects bikes. <laughs> yes. Have a good time. All right. So trying to work this out. She doesn't like blue noses. She doesn't like bikes. And that seems to be it. There might be something else that I can't tell. And then he doesn't like sprains. He doesn't like. So sprains. Uh, he probably doesn't like... Purple noses, and he probably doesn't like orange noses. That's it. That sounds right. Still not sure the other thing she rejected. You did it! You saved them all! But the nice thing is, you can just screw up so many times, and it doesn't really matter, because it's really hard to screw up to lose this one. Thank you for that, designers. Say hi to Arno. Oh! They know Arno, eh? 
When it comes to these finicky eaters, one troll's poison is another troll's pizza. Alright, pizza pass on very, very hard. Possibly the best puzzle in the game. Fleens? You're not fleens! <laughs> My heroes. All right, so you might be wondering, well, what changed? What changed is one more topping. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That is all they added was one more topping. They also added these pizzas in the ditch. Pizza pass, level four. Arno, Willa, and Shyler will let the Zumbinis pass if you make a special pizza and sundae for each one of them. This time around, there are even more toppings to choose from. One more. Each troll only likes toppings that the others dislike. For example, if Arno likes pepperoni, Willa and Shyler will not. If a pizza has a topping that the trolls hate, they'll throw it into the reject pit. They'll throw pizzas missing one or more of their favorite toppings onto their rocks. Try making one troll's pizza and sundae first before starting on the next. Build your toppings and be aware of what tr each troll likes and dislikes. The trolls are finicky eaters, and they won't necessarily like the same pizzas the next time you see them. Four pizzas have already been rejected by the trolls and are already in the pit. So there will always be four pizzas in the pit, and each pizza will have two toppings on it, and it'll select from four different toppings. So you can see there's one with cheese and whipped cream, one with cheese and olives, one with whipped cream and peppers, and one with olives and peppers. That will be important to note. Also, the reason that they added just one more topping, which is hot fudge, we are now at the point where we can't just make every I'm topping. Starving. <clears throat> we are at the point we can't just try every topping once and then figure out what everybody likes and dislikes. If we do that, we're going to end up getting smacked back to uh, Zumbini Isle before we can figure out what everybody likes. So what I like to do to begin: pick one of the toppings in the reject pit. I'm gonna go with cheese and see which one likes which. <laughs> Something on that I don't like. I'd appreciate more toppings. Uh-oh, there's something on that I don't want. Also, I just want to say I adore the sound effect that the Zumbini makes when they're carrying the pizza over and they have sprain as a sprain as a feet. I don't know why, it just sounds amazing to my ears. Alright, so Willa likes the cheese. We also know from the pit, Willa is not going to like whipped cream and is not going to like black olives. However, she could like peppers, so let's try cheese and peppers. Generally speaking, in my personal experience, most of the time, the person who likes the one topping will like the opposite topping in the pit as well. So, for example, there are the four toppings that are in the pit, and then four pizzas. Each pizza has two toppings. The one topping that is not shared by the pizza... So, for example, cheese is our topping. Cheese is shared in the pit by whipped cream and olives, but not by peppers. That means, generally speaking, the person who likes cheese is also going to like peppers. Yes! <laughs> something's wrong! Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, so she said something's wrong. He said, bleh, which means he doesn't like anything. So Shyler likes peppers. Oh, yeah. Good to know. All right. Well, since Willa doesn't like that, it'll be pretty easy. Now we should basically just try Willa in combination with all the toppings that are not in the pit, starting with mushrooms. There's stuff on that I don't like. Hmm, little pizza makers. Oh. Oh, that was just that was just the one Willow wanted. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, now that that happened, we're gonna try another topping in the pit that people don't like. So I'm gonna try whipped cream. More toppings. Oh, something's wrong. All right. Also important to note, unless I'm mistaken, I have. Every time I've played this on the hardest difficulty, every topping has been used. All the trolls combined will want all the toppings. I don't think it's possible on the hardest difficulty to have a topping that nobody wants to eat. Just my personal experience, I've played this game a lot, but I could be wrong about that. Also, this is just generally speaking, generally one troll will want, like, literally one topping. One troll will want, like, two or three toppings, and then the other troll's gonna want all the rest. 
My personal experience. All right, so Arno likes whipped cream. Let's try hot fudge with that. That's not actually in the pit. More topping. All right, he wants more. I'm allergic to some of those toppings. Really? All right, let's try the full on Sunday. Hot fudge, whipped cream, and a cherry. Oh, that sounds good to me right now. Come on! More stuff! I shouldn't eat some of those toppings. Okay. Let's try it with pepperoni. Arno, do you like pepperoni? More! Oh, boy. Some of those might make me ill. All right, so he wants even more. So the only toppings we haven't tried, actually the only topping we haven't tried is black olives. And because black olives is not in the pit with whipped cream, that means Arno can like that. So Arno wants an, a pizza with insane amount of toppings, and Shiler literally just wants peppers. Oh, my pizza! So that's how you get the upper edge in this logical puzzle. You have to use the dumped pizzas to your advantage. Everything else will just follow. <laughs> yes. Pizza, 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 pizza. <laughs> You've done quite well! Yay! And that's Pizza Pass. I love playing this on the hardest difficulty. It's a good challenge, just trying to figure out the toppings, but it's so much fun. And that's the last of the big and the bad and the hungry. Love that instrument that plays the horn. Oh, it's so good. Believe what you see, little Zumbinis. You have arrived at Shelter Rock, here to relax and wait for your friends. So let's see our prize that awaits us in Zumbiniville. Oh, it's a Zumbini statue! This monument was made to honor the Zumbinis who outsmarted the sneezing cliffs, conquered crusty cave car guards, and placated pizza trolls without hearing yuck when traveling was very, very hard. April 9th, 2018. <sighs> Zumbiniville, you're filling up fast. Alright, we've done it though. We are now done with the big, the bad, and the hungry. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be conquering the mountains of despair on the hardest difficulty. That's going to be insane. Absolutely insane. You won't believe the puzzles that are going to show up. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.